Uh, Rex Ryan, a Jets coach this week, uh, uh, in the news, uh, not for his obsession uh, with feet, um, but a lot of criticism of, of Rex Ryan. Uh, and it feels like the kind of thing that pisses uh, both of us off. Yes. It feels like very stock criticism. And I heard from players, including broadcasters I like, Trent Dilfer, T Teddy Bruschi. I really like Trent Dilfer as a broadcaster. I think he does a nice job. Saying that because Rex Ryan, quote, called out Peyton Manning and said it's personal. That's the quote you keep hearing. It's personal, right, that he beats uh, Peyton Manning this week in the playoff game, in the wild card game, that, uh, that he's gone overboard, uh, Rex Ryan has. Um, and Trent Dilfer saying, why is he doing this? He's firing up the cold locker room. He's out of line. Uh, and, nonsense. Right. Total, total, utter nonsense. We're going to show you the clips and you're going to see. Yeah, because if the degree, first of all, if we weren't going to show you all the clips, it would still be wrong. Right. But when you take it in the context of the whole clips, then it's just flat out irresponsible and ignorant. And we'll talk about why they take this out of context uh, if they all, well, we'll talk about that. But first, listen to the clip. Here's the one that everybody's paying attention to. First, uh, it's uh, Rex Ryan uh, calling out uh, uh, Peyton Manning. Uh, here it is. With Peyton Manning, it's like, you know, I'm going to beat him. You know, I don't know when I'm going to beat him, but I, I want it to be Saturday. And is it personal? Yes. Is it personal against him, Reggie Wayne, you know, all these guys? Yeah. Freeney and, and, and Mathis and all those other dudes? Absolutely. That I want to win. Outrageous. <laughs> that's the, outrageous. That's the most normal thing I have ever heard in my entire life. Every headline <laughs> is uh, Ryan to Peyton. It's personal. Yeah. No. It's no. It's not personal. Like he, Peyton Manning, sniffed his wife's shoes. Right. <laughs> okay. It's personal. Like, hey, I haven't beaten the guy, and I really want this as a personal accomplishment on top of everything else. And, and, and if anything, it's, if you watch the whole thing, it seems deferential. Like, wow, he keeps beating me. I'd, I'd really like to get a win. You know, if he'd said that Peyton Manning is an overrated bum who chokes in the playoffs. <laughs> that would be personal. Right. Then you'd be like, <laughs> what is Rex Ryan doing? Like, right. shut up. That's my but, job. Right. That's your <laughs> job. But he didn't say that. No, not even close. He didn't say that. And now just to make matters worse, here's the second clip of Rex Ryan in that same press conference talking about how personal it is with Peyton Manning. You know, when you, when you lose a playoff game, you know, you, you fight so hard to get in the playoffs, and when you lose a playoff game, it's, it's devastating. So, you know, I want to put the shoe on the other foot, and uh -huh. I know our team does too. You know, we, I want him to experience it this time. I wouldn't have brought the feet into it. <laughs> 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 but uh, that being said, look, the guy is saying he keeps beating me. I want to win for once. Right. I want to see the Moses say, I'm going to lose. And, what he, and, and why, is people, why are people focusing on it so much? Because it's shockingly honest. Right. It's incredibly human. And it's not coach speak, but there's nothing wrong with it. I got it if you deviate from coach speak the way Mark Cuban deviates from owner speak. You know, and he's like, oh, you know, uh, Phil Savage, you know, Phil, he was talking about Phil Jackson. He's like, I don't care. Phil Jackson mentioned that uh, Karan Butler of the Mavericks, who's had a devastating injury, and, he, and Phil Jackson said, it's going to hurt the Mavericks. And, uh, and, and Mark Cuban says, I don't care if Phil Jackson, I'm paraphrasing, I don't care what Phil Jackson has to say. He's just Jeannie Buss's boy. Boy toy. Boy toy. And you're like, what? See, that's personal. That's personal. And for, for no apparent for no, reason. For no reason. <laughs> when, in fact, Phil Jackson was essentially complimenting your player and just saying, that's going to be hard to replace. You have a very good player <laughs> right. who suffered an injury. <laughs> right. yeah, I mean, uh, this is just, this is honest talk. No, 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 it's over. I'm ruling on it. I believe uh, I'm ruling on it. Uh, Here we're, we go. We're all anxiously awaiting the judge's rule. Oh, okay. The judge's right. rule. Yeah. Uh, totally and utterly not guilty. In fact, it makes me root for Rex Ryan a little bit. Yeah, well, it gets worse. Uh, uh, the third clip from Rex Ryan's press conference. I've seen him many years at the Pro Bowl and... It's like, man, you know, it's funny. I respect the heck out of this guy, but it's like, you know, I'm going to beat him one day. And I just hope it's this Saturday. How so, <laughs> dare he? So, I mean, it, now, now they've deliberately misrepresented him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, it's, he, I mean, uh, he's doing anything but disrespecting, oh, you know, no, Peyton he's, Manning. It's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. Let's go with the fourth one real quick. It's a short one. Rex Ryan uh, on Peyton Manning. 
Do I recognize that we're playing an excellent football team and one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the game? Come on. Of course I recognize that. But we're not going there to lose. We're going there to win. <laughs> an outrage. outrage. What he said about Peyton Manning is an outrage. I don't understand it. And so why it, do Trent Dilfer, forget the, the, the hosts, I, you know, the, did he go too far? I, I don't even think it's a, it shouldn't even be asked. But then Dilfer and Teddy Bruschi, and I'm calling them out just because I happen to see them, but others right. do. Why do they think this is a bad thing that he did? No, I don't think they do. Uh, I think that, that they got to have something to talk about. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, that's a, uh, I don't mean to make it personal for them. Yeah. Okay, but seriously, like they got to fill up the airways. They got to have drama. This is all about drama, I right? Yeah. And so the headline is, oh, Rex Ryan versus Peyton Manning. It's personal. That's drama. But they didn't give it to him. I mean, that's not, you know, they're making it up. And that, look, they shouldn't do that. They should. I, maybe they didn't watch the whole clip. Maybe I don't they know. didn't watch the whole clip. And I, but I don't even believe that they could possibly really think that. First of all, do you really think Peyton Manning's going to get more fired up by that? I mean, Peyton Manning's no. a professional. I'm pretty yeah. sure he's going to come to play on Saturday. So I don't know. I don't buy it. And I just, I hate the idea that, the, that you have to find something here, that they can't take a measured approach and say, Here's something interesting that Rex Ryan said. He's speaking refreshing. And look at this. He's also being respectful. This is interesting. It's not going to fire Peyton Manning up, but they fall into that trap. Skip Bayless, the, the great writer from Dallas who now works for ESPN, he said the same thing. This won't play in the locker room. <laughs> All right. By the way, the only time that I've ever seen anything personal actually affect the game, as far as I could tell, right, was when somebody slept with LeBron's mom. <laughs> okay. Allegedly, okay. He seemed to get angry at that, and Cleveland seemed to fall apart, right? Yeah, okay, we don't know, we don't know. But outside of that, I've never seen. They're professionals. You're right. They show what it was. Peyton's like, oh no, I was going to take it easy on him, but he said that what? Yeah, Reggie <laughs> Wayne, you run that down and out hard. 